r slash ask reddit, in your opinion, what is the absolute most toxic fan base on the internet? Can the answer be most of them once they get large enough? To be honest, everyone's kind of a dick these days. The Stardew Valley fans are wholesome. Joined a keto diet page on Facebook because I did the diet a few years ago and have considered doing it again. And holy shit, the comments that are left on every post asking for advice etc. Just constant criticism, personal attacks, snide remarks, it's so difficult to find anything on there that's not toxic. Most diet pages are full of know-it-alls and pretentious, obnoxious people with holier-than-thou attitudes. Related communities, such as the workout ones, are surprisingly way more wholesome and accepting. Ferrari. I've never seen people with so little going on argue about whether or not a car left the factory silver, or silvery blue, as much as they do. I say this as a Ferrari fan, BTW. It's funny how Ferrari fans pretend Lamborghini doesn't exist and how Lamborghini fans pretend Ferrari doesn't exist. They just secretly hate each other, you never see them compare a Ferrari to a Lombo or vice versa. League of Legends I still remember how Steven Universe fans nearly bullied a child to suicide because she drew a character a little too thin. I never knew how many people fucked my mom until I played that game. Andrew Tate and it's not even close. Tate's effect on the minds of schoolboys is going to be something society is dealing with for a long time to come. Most video game fan bases. Especially if it's competitive in any way. Yes, it's like competitive game modes bring out the worst in people. And the way how some of those games are very restrictive, punishing and competitive driven, is only making things worse. A lot of people posting about LOL, which I agree, but from my experience the Call of Duty fan base is the absolute worst in all of gaming. No one hates COD games more than COD fans. Reality show or children's cartoon fan bases. RuPaul's Drag Race I swear sadly is the worst. For a show celebrating queer culture, really does bring out the worst of people, I say that as a gay man myself. Children's cartoons, Steven Universe was infamous in how toxic the fan base was, and again a queer show that was supposed to celebrate diversity. As much as I love Drag Race the fan base really is insane. Like the core identity of this show is comedy and camp. Can we chill? Most K-pop fans. Being a long time enjoyer of the genre myself, I've seen comments with two people fighting over their favorite group or downgrading an idol's flaws, some of which aren't actually flaws. And it's not just petty fighting like straight up horrible threats to the group or idol. Especially when the group slash idol doesn't reach a certain standard it's like they don't even deserve to be human and make mistakes. It's pretty fucking embarrassing. Since I've been in them, and regrettably was toxic until I had to stop myself, I would say. The MLP fandom. The Loud House fandom. Yeah. Sue's fan base is pretty bonkers. They basically have an idealized version and interpretation of the show and anyone who varies even slightly from it will be attacked. If you ever want a good laugh, take a look at the longest piece of writing in human history, a fanfic called The Loud House Revamped, where the writer inserts himself into a 20 million, yes, million, word power fantasy set into the Loud House universe. Fans of family YouTubers r slash doppelganger whole sub is just sad people looking for verification that they look like someone famous to feel better about themselves subs like that and r slash rate are just trash the lonely people posting are looking for validation that they're as pretty as they think they are and the lonely people commenting are even more delusioned destiny they're willing to die on that money hungry hill star wars is way up there not too many other fandoms will send death threats to an actor just for appearing in a movie or show they didn't like. What happened to Ahmed Best, Jar Jar, and especially Jake Lloyd, Child Anakin, was fucked up. Based on my experiences I gotta go with RuPaul's Drag Race. Fans have literally bullied queens off of social media platforms because they didn't think they deserved to win and their fave queen was robbed or some shit. Like these are real people not TV characters. Professional Wrestling no one hates wrestling more than wrestling fans. K-pop fans. Dear God, the scrutiny over mundane and insignificant things, and the sense of absolute ownership and entitlement over the idols are nauseating. You aren't kidding about that lol. I made a comment defending a user I've had positive interactions with that posted a video others in the sub weren't fans of, and they accused me of being the ops alternate account based solely on the fact that my account is so new. It's sad really that they don't have anything better to do. Indian cricket team. Andrew Tate UFC I stopped watching because of the fan base. Whenever there's a loud mouth little fucker who likes to act up, they always have the most obnoxious fans. 
Connor, fans are annoying as hell while they mimic him. Diaz brothers, super obnoxious fans who think they're as tough as Nick. Charles Crazy Horse Bennett, his fans were fucking insane people who like to make trouble. Bonus, Sean Strickland. Not a little fucker, but a big fucker with small man syndrome who enjoys hurting people and his fans wish they could hurt people. Redditors. A lot of mainstream artists like Taylor Swift, Melanie Martinez, Ariana Grande. Music genres like K-pop, or black metal heads, the elitist, I'm more hardcore than thou. Then you have the cults like Mega. Was going to mention the T-Swift subs. Both fan and antifan subs are really gross. K-pop fans. The level of toxicity displayed by K-pop fans toward any girl that dares to be a woman in any way is terrifying. Worse than it, they like to bully people even idols. Some idols lost their career because these K-pop fans bullied them. I place football community second and mob's community third. Mega obviously. Not even close. And if you don't believe that, go to Twitter right now. They're currently melting down over the idea that a biracial person can exist, and trying to redefine what a woman is because that's easier than admitting that they or their god king could be wrong about something. Really politicians shouldn't have fan bases in the first place. But it's the only way to describe the mega movement, whose adherents treated like a goddamn spectator sport. Hoyovers gamers. Moralizing, harassing morons who can't keep their noses out of everyone else's business, whine about their game constantly, but just keep putting more money into it. Basically thousands of nosy little church ladies and if you respond with anything but complete acquiescence it's I'm literally a minor why are you being rude to me. All elite wrestling. They doss and send death threats if someone doesn't like what they like. Genuinely insane and vile. All of this is true. But, I have my suspicion that it's only about 80 to 100 losers who have multiple accounts on Twitter so it just looks like there are more of them than there actually are. Unhinged little fuckers though. Politics. Is Steven Universe still a thing? Or has that finally died? Most any group that is super into anything attracts the most unpleasant headbangers. Taylor Swift lunatics. Nah they mostly come out when egged into it. Could say that the anti-Swift group is worse and you'd have way more fuel. They completely lack self-awareness and often rudely insert themselves and their bullshit in an appropriate way. Currently any fan of politics. Virat Kohli fandom. Probably the fan base of that streamer, that is posted about in the I am the main character, links up regularly, lately, since that streamer does sort of a world tour. I show speed is the streamer I'm talking about. Here, link one of his latest posts on named sub. And here, link you can see his fan base in action, lol. Trump supporters. They are confronted with opposing facts and literally just shrug their shoulders and say oh well, I love Trump, or just claim the facts are a conspiracy to get Trump. Faithful argument is completely out the window. We are fucked. If it hasn't already been said, Reddit takes number one spot. Jehovah's TBH. I would rank Swift ties at the top two. I remember Undertale having a ravenous fan base, so much so I avoided the game for years till I saw it on sale and said why not. Good game but yeesh those people. Holy shit the memories, the disgusting shit, the toxicity, and attacks because someone drew fantasy goat slightly thinner or skeletons white, skeletons. It was at that time I decided if I enjoy something, I will not interact with its fan base. Hey guys, it's Reddit Glitch. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys to hit the subscribe button because according to my statistics, 98.8% of my viewers are not subscribed, which I think you should subscribe because it's free and uh, we're going to have a lot more bangers in the future. So subscribe again. Thanks for watching. Bye.